What's up, Wad Prep? Coach CJ here, and this is Charlie, who's one of our, one of my athletes and also one of Wad Prep's employees. Which what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna go over some common snatch mistakes. Charlie is a a pretty good weightlifter, but definitely has some some flaws and some some mistakes in the lift. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you kind of some clips of her building up to maybe 80% or so, and then after she builds, we're gonna go over some of the mistakes that we see in the lift um, after she builds. So you'll kind of see him go lift, 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 and then we'll talk it over and discuss what we're seeing and uh, how we're gonna cue and correct it. All right, so now you'll see Charlie just take a lift and then you'll see it kind of flash forward a few and then we'll go from there. Go ahead, Charlie. Cool. All right, so this is 105 or roughly 48 kilos. Whoop. Good. Cool. Cool. Whoop. It's all right. That's good. A couple of things that we see when Charlie is lifting is the bar will drift a little bit off the ground and we'll see that bar kind of shift away from her in the first pull. So we really want to focus on cueing her to get her lats active and, and pull the bar into her. Um, also when she hits the hip, she's very dynamic and very aggressive um, in her hip drive, but gets the bar to shoot a bit. But mainly the biggest problem for Charlie is where she catches the bar. And so if you're looking at the video from your angle and you're looking at that left arm, that left arm gets really rotated out in front that's secondary to some shoulder pain that she's kind of been struggling with for a year or so that we're working through. Um, and so we're going to really focus on that as the priority of this teaching lesson of, of how we're going to fix cue and correct um, that fault that we see. So let's go ahead and do it again, Charlie. Good. All right, so that lift for Charlie was much better, right? Much more balanced, but you'll see something that she does a lot. Because she doesn't have a lot of balance in the bottom, there's never really a pause. She's always dynamic, and then to even get out of the hole, she kind of bounces up. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna really fo force her to pause in the bottom, spend some time there before she stands in hopes of getting more comfortable in the bottom without having to be dynamic and moving all the time. So Charlie, you're gonna snatch again. I want you to have a three second pause in the bottom and then when you stand, no bounce, okay? So catch it as low as you can, get that left arm back and really fight to stay extended in the bottom, okay? Give me a nice pause. Pause, hold, good, stand. There, much better, good. Good. So she tried to stand early. I caught her, but, um, you know, we saw a lot more control. Even as she stood, there was less, um, oscillation of the bar moving forward. That left arm still does come forward. I don't know if you can see it from that angle, but it's just a smidge. But even a week ago, before we had our first in-person session together, Charlie stepped out basically every bar. Charlie snatches almost 90 kilos or 200 pounds. And she would step out almost every bar over 60 kilos, right? And so about 70% of her of her 1RM. And so that's what we've been focusing on a lot. So let's go ahead and let's go up again. All right, so we've got 145 on the bar. Push, whoop, hold it. Good, good, great. Cool. All right. So as you can see, Charlie has no problem getting the bar to have vertical drive and getting height on the bar. The challenging points for her are creating a lot of stability in the catch. As you can see, when she caught that bar, she kind of popped down, was very wobbly in the bottom. And so for her, again, the biggest goal is, is like improving a very sound and I call it like a freeze frame catch. So what we want to focus on is, as athletes in general, when we snatch, jerk, clean, whatever, we want it to basically be when we catch that bar is a full stop. Okay. So we don't want to be moving around a ton when we catch that bar. We want to be able to just create this like picturesque frozen 
view of how we receive the bar. That's going to show us our balance. And we do that by just spending time in the catch positions. Okay. A lot of us worry about getting a lot of drive on the bar when we really need to worry about what that receiving position actually looks like. And so for Charlie, that's what our main focus is as her training and her programming look like is owning the catch, worrying less about the pull and things. It's still important, but for her specifically, it's the catch. Let's do it one more time. Push, good. Okay, good. All right. Did you know that at Wad Prep, we have online training programs that can help you get better at CrossFit? In fact, we have something called Wad Prep Online Training, which is a daily workout delivered right to your phone every single day. We have competitive tracks, master's tracks, and then a classic 60 minute track. So regardless of what kind of programming you're trying to follow, whether you have minimal equipment or you have access to a full-blown CrossFit gym, Wad Prep has the perfect training for you, including some accessory tracks that'll help you get better at things like gymnastics, weightlifting, engine work like running, biking, and rowing. And all you have to do is go to Wad Prep Online Training. So go to the link on the screen or check the description below. Join Wad Prep Online Training. It's one of the most affordable training programs on the market today, and it's absolutely loaded with value. We have thousands of testimonials from customers of all ages and abilities hitting all sorts of PRs. So go join Wad Prep Online Training today, and you'll get a special deal if you click the link on this video. So if you guys can't see, so Charlie catches with their thumbs hooked. Probably not something we're gonna try and change now, but it might be something um, that we change later. When you maintain the hook grip in your catch position, it reduces your, your shoulder range of motion, right? Because you have more restriction on the elbow and the forearm, which is just naturally gonna pull the bar forward. So if we see that Charlie in her training is continuing to struggle with losing the bar forward, we're gonna try to instill maybe letting go of that hook grip, and that's gonna give us a more sound overhead position. Um, uh, again, as you saw, kind of wobbly in the bottom, that's our main focus, and that's what we're really trying to cue. But here, right, we saw that bar kind of drifted away after it hit the hip. So our next cue is gonna be what we want you, I want you to slow down from the pull, okay? And as you hit the hip, I really want you to try and stay over the bar longer, get externally rotated instead of, instead of blasting, okay? So less hit blast, more of a skim. As we get here, instead of really trying to like bang the bar, right, I want you to think of trying to skim it up, okay? So just kind of brush the hip up. There we go. Good, perfect, great. All right, so. Not a lot of change there, but the bar path was maybe a little bit tighter. As you saw her hit the hip, it didn't shoot out quite as much. You saw that left arm get in a good position early. There was less rotation and she was more sound in the bottom. All right, Charlie's gonna hit one more, okay? And so her main focus is here. We have two points, okay? So usually when we go into a snatch, we really wanna think of one, one cue at a time. We think of too many and then we start to get flustered and then we think of too many things and the snatch looks terrible. So. Um, the main thing I want Charlie to focus on here is number one is pausing in the bottom, getting the left arm back, left arm still a little bit forward. Okay. And then her second cue, if she thinks about it is brushing the hip. All right. And those are our kind of our main themes for, for this session. All right, let's see it. Left arm back. Push back. So, not a bad thing. It's okay to miss on camera. It's not fun, but it's okay. So too many thoughts were going in. You could say the bar hit her hip and it just didn't go anywhere, right? So that's okay. That's part of the game. That's when a coach has to make the audible and, and make the adjustment. So now I just want you to think of left arm back. That's it. You can slap the shit out of it on your hip if you want to, okay? Pull hard, left arm back, all right? Good. Good. Perfect. Cool. So obviously Charlie has great range of motion. She has great positions and she has great strength, but every lifter has things to work on. And so we'll kind of double back and just go over her main focuses. So her main focus is owning her bottom position. She has so much range of motion and so much power, but 
she really struggles to really own that bottom and that's where she misses. She doesn't miss about getting height on the bar. Um, it's about getting the bar in the right position and stabilizing it in the bottom. So her training is really focused there. That's where it all is. So we do a lot of snatch drops, snatch balances, tempo overhead squatting, narrow grip work, things that are gonna really reinforce that bottom position and being comfortable there. She has it, she's done a really good job as an athlete at avoiding it for long periods of time during her training. And, and so that's the main focus of hers. And so, uh, yeah, thanks for joining this video. Guys, this video was just um, us coaching an athlete through some snatches, right? Specific to her, um, remember that every athlete's gonna need different cues or you might need different cues and different focuses, but uh, we just wanted to kind of show our thought process through a certain presentation. When we do this again, the athlete might be different and the whole video will look different as far as the goals, the cueing, setup, how we built, et cetera. So thanks for joining. We hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Do you want to learn how to do kipping backflips? Then watch the next video. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, if you want more free training and cool videos like this one, click the box thing. It's going to take you to the next video in the series. I promise you, you're going to love it.